In this video, we are going to be learning how to install and use Ruskin on Kali Linux. Before that, let's understand what Ruskin is. So I'll open my browser, go to Google, and search for Rust Scan and press enter. Click on the first link from GitHub, Ruskin forward slash Ruskin. This is the official GitHub repository. Now, before installing Ruskin, let's first understand what is Ruskin. So as you can see, Ruskin is extremely fast port scanner. It will help you find open ports which will be useful when you are pen testing. Think of it as just like nmap, but the only difference is it is extremely fast. So with that being said, let's install Ruskan. So the first thing I'll do is scroll down until I see the Kali icon, which will link to documentation. So I'll click on this and you will be in this part of the page, which will be written Debian forward slash Kali. From here, you will get a link to the releases page. So click on it here, scroll down and under assets, you will see a file that ends in .deb. So Ruskan underscore 2.2.2 md64.deb click on it and your file will be downloaded after your file is downloaded open the folder that your file got downloaded on i can see this is the file that just got downloaded i will right click and click open terminal here if i do ls i can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded so i'll install this file with the command sudo space dpkg space dash i space the name of the file i'm using tab to autocomplete and then press enter type the password for my user now Ruskin got installed. Let's see how we can use Ruskin. So I will open my terminal again, clear my screen. And the first command that I'll be checking out is the help command. So Rust scan space dash H. It is showing the help menu. In the help menu, you can see that under options, if I want to specify IP address, I have to use the dash A command. I can specify a batch size. With the dash P command, I can include ports. And with the dash r command, I can use the range of ports. There is also the dash t command, which is the timeout. The default is 1500 milliseconds. So if the port is not open for 1500 milliseconds, it will move to the next one. There are other many options. I will not be going through each one of them. I'm just showing you the main ones. And you can specify an argument with the double dash command. And the arguments that you can be using are the exact argument in nmap. I'm showing you with example enough talking. So let's see some action. Now the device that I will be scanning is the device hosted in my own network. So for that, I will use the command sudo space rust scan space dash a a is for address space specify the ip address or the domain name that you want to scan so the device that i'm scanning is in my network so i'll give the ip address of the device which is 192.168.1.24 you could have also used a domain name like www.google.com i will not be doing that i'll be scanning only the device in my network which is 192.168.1.24 just a warning before i start the scan do not scan any network or device that you do not own or do not have the explicit permission of scanning. Only scan device or network that you own or have the permission to scan. So with that being said, I will start the scanning. I will press enter. And as you can see, my scanning got started and in less than one second, it found three open ports. The reason why it is so fast is because it's written in the Rust language. Rust language is very fast and our scanning is finished. It also did a default nmap scan. So one thing to note, if we want our scan to be faster, we can use this option or we can use the docker image. Since I did not use docker, I'll be using the ulimit. So let's try another few scans. So I will type the command sudo rust scan space dash a, the IP address that I want to scan. You can also specify multiple IP address with a comma. So give one IP address, comma, another IP address, but I will not do that. I only have one device in my network. So I'll be scanning this one only space. You can specify any number of ports you want. So with the dash p command, you can specify the ports like dash p 80, which will scan only port 80 or if you want to do multiple ports you can use comma so 80 comma 443 or you can specify range 2 with dash dash range space the range of ports that you want to scan so this time i'll be scanning from 1 to 1000 space i will specify the u limit option so that the scanning is faster so dash dash u limit space 5000 and now if i press enter i can see how fast it was so basically Ruskin first finds the open ports and then also runs the nmap script. So that's why it is so fast. Let me show you the final thing. You can also use nmap options with Ruskin and for that you need to use the argument. So I will go back to the previous command that I used with the up arrow key in my keyboard. And if I want to run an nmap option, I will give a space dash dash space the option that I want to use. So if I wanted to do a version detection, I would have typed dash s capital v space if i wanted to do a os detection i would have typed dash capital o space if i wanted to do a default script i would have typed dash s capital c so the options are just like nmap or i could have combined all these options into one single option which is the a the a option which is the aggressive mode and now i can start scanning so i'll press enter 
And after the scanning has been completed, I can see first the open ports were found by Rust scan, then the nmap script ran, and it did the version detection, the OS detection, and it also ran the default script. So this video is just a basic overview of how you can scan ports extremely fast, faster than nmap with Rust scan. That is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.